Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you made a great morning this morning. It is Monday morning, as always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, as promised, I'm here today to review this amazing album, Mirror to the Sky by Yes. 23rd studio album by the legendary progressive rockers, Yes. The only uh, original member on this one is uh, Steve Howe. But the rest of the players have been on here for quite a while um, because unfortunately a lot of the members uh, like Chris Squire and um, Alan White and, and uh, they're, they've all gone unfortunately and uh, John Anderson has moved on as well um, to other projects but uh, this one features Steve Howe, Jeff Down, John Davison, Billy Sherwood and Jace Schellen uh, who took over for Alan White. This is dedicated to Alan White as well the legendary drummer for Yes. Um, nine tracks in total. Um, six originals with three bonus tracks. On this particular version, there are different versions out there. The vinyl wasn't available in my area until uh, June. Um, so I could have pre-ordered it, but I wanted something right away. And, uh, of course, amazing artwork by Roger Dean. I don't know how he does this. It. just re remarkable, remarkable stuff. Um... And uh, amazing, excellent production, musicianship, lyrics. Um, the album itself, I find, uh, is uh, it takes you on a journey. Every track is a journey. I listened to this about five times. Uh, I feel that's the only way to, maybe not five, but at least two to three or four times you should listen to something. Um, before you make your decision on whether you like it or not. Could be the mood you're in, could be whatever. The first track, the first listen is not going to do it for you. Unless it's a unique and rare thing that's going to hit you right away. But this one's, um, most of last week I listened to this one. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. Um, it's a Steve Howe album with some great players, I would say. Because he's all over this, he produced it. He wrote most of the tracks. Uh, amazing, amazing playing on this one, by the way. And, uh, yeah, so this is, there's the players there. Uh, more wonderful artwork. And then you've got uh, the two CDs with the original album on here and then the three bonus tracks on here. The bonus tracks sound just as good or better than the remaining tracks. Um... Again, more artwork. There's some lyrics. Okay. And uh, just awesome playing. Uh, you've got orchestra. You've got steel pedal guitar. Um, amazing bass runs. Uh, of course, Steve Howe's guitar playing is second to none. Um, acoustic tracks. Great vocals. Um, you've got John Davis on the lead vocals, acoustic guitar, who is a John Anderson sound-alike in some ways. He's got his own unique voice for sure. He's more remarkable. Um, Steve Howe on guitars and steel guitar and vocals. Um, not the greatest vocalist, I must say. But uh, when you combine his and uh, John Davidson's vocals together, as well as Billy Sherwood's vocals together, it sounds great. You got Jeff Downs on keyboards, Billy Sherwood on bass and vocals. Some wonderful bass runs on this one. Highly underrated bass player for sure. And then Jay Schellen, Skellen, Schellen, I'm not sure, on drums and percussion. Um, yeah, um, engineered by Steve Howe, John Davis, and Billy Sherwood at their personal studios. Um, many vocals recorded by John Davidson at Lagoa, La Laguna Beach. And uh, most recordings by Steve Howe at uh, Langley Studios in the UK. All bass recordings of Billy Sherwood in LA. Uh, so it sounds like they recorded everything and then put it all together. But um, yeah, uh, remarkable, remarkable stuff. Some different images and great photo of the band. So that's the CD. Again, there's different versions. I've seen big box sets of, of this album. Um, this is good. This is a follow-up to this album, The Quest, which 
many people pan this one. I absolutely love this one. And I'm going to be doing a review on this one in the next couple of days. Um, I think it's a wonderful album. Is this one better? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's unique. It's different. This one's longer, for sure. More tracks on this one. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's to, yet to be determined. Yet to be determined. So, um... Again, I don't listen to a lot of reviews. Uh, I'm not big on reviews because that's one person's opinion. And as I'm doing my review, I'm saying this. But uh, I'm just trying to give you a, a good recommendation on what I feel um, is a great album. So I went into this uh, uh, with uh, with hopes that you would form your own opinion. Uh, don't pan my opinion because, again, that's mine. But uh, at least give it a chance. Give it three to four, three to five listens for sure before you make your own opinion that's the only thing i'm going to suggest to you so it opens with uh cut from the stars which is five minutes and 25 seconds long uh definitely early yes sounding definitely uh futuristic as well um it's got this wonderful violin opening and then this running bass uh riff as well which is cool some synths great harmonies uh, awesome steve howe guitar again and a uh, really wonderful opening track um, reminds you of early yes, as I said, wonderful stuff. Uh, and then you get all connected, which is uh, nine minutes and three seconds. It doesn't feel like nine minutes and three seconds. It, again, that journey type of sound and song. I uh, love the opening instrumental with some nice slide work. Um, I think maybe steel guitar work. I'm sorry, not slide work, steel guitar work. Um, wonderful, wonderful track. It took me on a journey. It really did. Um, it's melodic. It's really, really good. Really good. Then you have Luminosity, one of my favorite tracks on here. Uh, this one's at nine minutes. And all these big, big tracks, but you don't feel they're, they're long tracks. A um, lot of emotions in this track. It's calming with a dramatic opening. Some nice uh, changes within the song. Um, the first uh, two minutes are all instrumental which is kind of cool. You wonder where it's going to go because you want to keep listening because you don't know what direction it's going to take. Uh, turn to this beautiful storytelling track. It's big and dramatic. It's wonderful. Um, Living Out Their Dreams, the fourth track. Uh, you got this descending guitar rift, which is really cool. Uh, it's a kind of a harder edge track for Yes. Yes isn't known for the big hard edge, but it's a harder edge track than the previous tracks. Um, with also some bit of southern rock accents to this one as well. Um, again, can't tell, talk enough about the great guitar work by uh, Steve Howe. Um, the title track, Mirror to the Sky. That is 14 minutes, and uh, sorry, 13 minutes and 53 seconds. Almost 14 minutes long. Wow. It's just big and epic and uh, it just takes you away. And, and that 14 minutes flies... Uh, I love the opening riff. Um, it's a great combination of, of uh, guitar and 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 uh, it's just wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's harder edge opening with some great bass runs as well. Uh, another um, uh, so many changes within this track. Epic, epic. Uh, more emotions in this one. It's just, it's hard to describe unless I listen to it. It's just remar remarkable. Um, and every change, you just don't know what direction it's going to take. It's just really, really good. Uh, Circle of Time kind of slows down. Uh, it's more acoustic track. Um, but it's a nice break from uh, Mirror to the Sky. Uh, beautiful vocals and uh, really nice guitar work. More, again, uh, beautifully sung, nice lyrics. It's a sweet track. It really is. It's kind of, I don't know if it fits on the album, but it, it's just a nice break between uh, the first uh, the first five tracks. It's just uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song. Beautiful song. Um, the first bonus track is Unknown Place. Uh, another epic track. Uh, really nice uh, vocals. Uh, dual vocals, um, and uh, I find um, John Davidson kind of lowers his voice to match 
Steve How Steve's How voice, which is kind of cool, because again, Steve How has a deeper deeper voice, not the greatest, but it's, he does a decent job. Love the opening riffs with the, with the um, with the chants as well in this one. Some chants going on. Um, one of the more traditional Yes tracks and um, keyboards and uh, um, cool bass runs on this one. It's uh, and lead. So there's some cool uh, um, there's some cool keyboards and lead guitar. Um, duos on this one it's really really good uh the eighth track and the second bonus track is one second is enough um kind of a funky progressive track nice keyboard opening acoustic track uh um uh, really like this one it's uplifting as well it's really really good and the ninth and final one the last bonus track and the last al uh, track on the album um ends with uh um, Magic Potion, which is uh, 4 minutes and 8 seconds. So Unknown Place, sorry, let me get back. Circle of Time is 4 minutes and 54 seconds. Unknown Place is 8 minutes and 12 seconds. One second is enough. One of the shortest tracks on here, 4 minutes and 4 seconds. Magic po Potion is 4 minutes and 8 seconds long. Um, it's uh, great dual vocals. Nice way to end the album. Classic Steve Howe licks, um, and uh, from the opening riff to the end, it's just a really, really good track. So again, um, I would say overall, uh, this is a uh, definitely a Steve Howe-driven album, which is nothing wrong with that at all because he's remarkable, and uh, the rest of the players are just uh, remarkable on this one as well. It's worth the buy, in my opinion. Uh, I would would I prefer the vinyl? I'm not sure because I, I like the uh, I like the sound of this one so far. It's been really really good, and um, if you're gonna get it, I would recommend getting it. If I if I was giving any type of recommendation, and uh, I would I'm gonna rank this one a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. If I would have given you a rank on my first one, it'd probably be a seven and a half out of ten. But the more I listen, the more I dig it, the more I get into it. And I'll probably be listening to this one again today. Uh, every time I listen to it, it just gets better and better and better. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. And uh, the reason it's not a perfect album, I don't know. I just, it's got to be pretty high on the list to get a, uh, a perfect album for sure. But this was definitely uh, a 9 out of 10. Mirror to the Sky by Yes. So there you have it, guys. There's my album review of Yes's latest album, their 23rd studio album. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Love you all. I'll be back again soon with uh, uh, maybe a review of The Quest. Uh, maybe a review of something else. I'm going to do this at least once a week. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye now.